I'm Rebecca Riccio, the Director of the Social Impact Lab at Northeastern University. This is our first Social Impact-a-thon. We've asked teams of students to give up their whole weekend to learn about environmental justice and ethical and effective engagement in social change making. We knew we had to feed them. We knew we had to have cool swag. But most importantly, we knew there had to be a lot of great learning happening. So we brought in experts on environmental justice, nonprofit sector and philanthropy and community engagement to talk to them about what environmental justice is, why it disproportionately affects low-income communities and communities of color, and what nonprofit organizations in Boston are doing about it. The reality of displacement, the current displacement crisis, challenges you all as teams to think about the regular lived experiences of residents in our communities. You have, to, you have to be flexible enough to think through both of those scales. There has to be intentionality there because we're pushing against the, the whole world that's constantly trying to pull us back to status quo. Being, you know, being a responsible philanthropist, grant maker, donor, um, you know, requires you to do some work and to really understand the field. And environmental justice is a life and death issue. This is terribly important work that you're about to undertake. What does it all boil down to? And for every species, every animal, it all boils down to your responsibility to make sure that the next generation of the species can survive. If you don't do that, it is a fail. All other things are pluses, but not essential. We are failing at our foundational responsibility as a species. There is no issue that does not impact all of us. Police brutality is not just about black people. It happens everywhere in this country. It just disproportionately burdens communities of color because of that long history of policies and practices and this reinforced culture of being afraid. We need to be looking at every you know, opportunity like this, like what are three social challenges we could be addressing at the same time so that we are making a better planet, not just in terms of emissions, but in terms of like people's quality of life. And so if this really is to be a movement that connects race and class to what's predominantly a white middle class to upper middle class movement, we've got to think of ways to bring them in that are going to be meaningful in their lives. So the Garamis House and Foundation knew what the Social Impact Lab was doing uh, around the United States with the Buffett Families Learning by Giving Foundation and in other countries. And they said, well, it's cool that you do this experiential philanthropy stuff in courses at Northeastern, but not everybody can take your course. And a semester's a long time, and you can still only fit so many people into a classroom. So they challenged me to come up with a model that could give as much of that um, visceral experience that comes from experiential philanthropy to more students more quickly. Then we set them a big challenge. How would you allocate $50,000 to local nonprofit organizations to increase your impact as donors in addressing the challenge of environmental justice? After a series of speaking events and workshops on Friday and Saturday night, we sent them off to work in their teams to figure out what their funding proposals would look like to meet that challenge. Right now they're busy at work, being visited by coaches with experts and accessing all sorts of resources that we pull together to help them grapple with this really difficult challenge. Because really, if we're going to be giving money away, we want to be both effective in how it's used but also, also ethical in understanding the responsibility we have when we have control over scarce resources in the face of enormous needs. And that's your challenge this weekend. Not to come up with your own great ideas or your own great apps or business plans or products, which is what usually these athons are about, but you're gonna be learning about the work that is already being done by experts in communities and experts in their own lives to address the environmental inequities. The idea is that you're going to try to not just give $50,000 away to three separate entities. You're hoping that that combination of entities does work, gives them a focus, gives your tool more power 
because of the way you're aligning it with some new understanding you have of what EJ looks like in Boston. This is the first time that we know of that anybody has tried an intensive weekend-long experiential philanthropy education project like this. We're figuring out things as we go along and are excited to share those lessons learned with other institutions that might like to try this. And some of the things we hadn't planned for, big storm coming on Sunday. So rather than being able to celebrate together when the students uh, find out who of their, which of their uh, proposals has been selected to be funded in full, they're going to be making videos about their experiences to share with each other and the nonprofit organizations that joined us in, in doing the social impact event. So we're figuring it out. We're excited to see what decisions they make.